it's Sophia. Welcome back to Sophia Safari. We're going to learn about a very, very, very important word. Biodiversity. Bio means all of the different animals and insects and everything. Diversity means all of the different species and nature. So we're going to, even if you live in a tiny little home and a tiny little garden and a big big city you can do something very small like plant a tree or make a little water fountain with rocks and for the bees or plant some flowers for the bees to get their food and we want other people are making the biodiversity destroyed so you and me are going to Fix the biodiversity and make it beautiful. Make it a better place for the beautiful nature to live and make more species and babies and everything. So we're going to do something very special. This is an example. You can find rocks and old sticks. Look here, I can, I've already found a spider web. You can look under rocks and everything. And you can find creepy chloris, insects and everything. Just make sure you don't find a snake. Snakes aren't bad, but they are dangerous. So you need to try, look out for snakes. Some snakes you can be very camouflaged and everything. You can get different kinds of snakes and everything. So we're gonna, so if you, at your house, you can look under a rock. You can find lots of different kind of animals and everything. For Christmas, instead of asking for plastic toys and everything, what about to ask for a bird feeder? Like this in our garden. Birds will love their peace. They'll make a nest and they'll have more food to make more babies. And you'll feel very happy and Jesus will feel also happy in your heart. So we're going to try and make everything happier. So get a bird feeder or a tiny bird feeder like that. They'll still love it. And you can try and find a bird feeder. You can even get beautiful bird feeders like this to paint and everything. And then you can put beautiful you can then you can put seeds in your bird feeders and everything. And just telling you about snakes. Snakes don't have legs. Like this, this, you can plant a flower and you can get beautiful creatures just trying to find the place to lay eggs and get some food. If you, even if you have a tiny garden, you can plant something beautiful in there and it will, very ma and it will make me very happy. As another example, what you can do in your garden. You can get a jug, but not a plastic jug, because we are learning about nature. So get a nice jug like this. You can pour it in your water fountain, like this. And it will attract lots of different species and animals. Okay. And you can get some rocks and put it inside so the bees can also drink so they don't drown. Like I said, we are trying to make the species not die and drown. We want them to live. So that's why we put rocks in our in our water fountain or something. So the bees don't drown in that. And also birds can also come and drink. So make sure you put like the rocks all together so the birds can also have space to drink in that. Like that. Now, now it makes it all beautiful and stunning. Now the bees and birds can also have a beautiful laugh. Here's also another example. You can plant a sausage tree and then you can use the sausage, but don't pick the sausage. It can fall off by itself. So when it's foul, you can use it for a doorstop. And also, can you see these ants over here? They are good. Not bad. Tell your mom and dad to not spray poison because the insects and ants can also be food for birds and other animals. So they are, these ants are trying to eat. 
eat the sausage. I don't know why, but they're trying to eat the sausage here. So we're gonna go try and find another flower. Look at all of these different insects and that. This can be beautiful, like breakfast for birds and insects. Look at this big one here. You can see it. It's, I think that's the can of the bugs over here right now. So now they can eat something more and they can make more babies and that. And they are very good. Try and find a book like this. You can even decorate it with stickers and make it all beautiful. You can write every insect so you can know what kind of insect in that you have found. So you can look in the, like an insect book and try write it down in the biology book. Look here, these are gun beetles here. This is a thorn. There are lots of different species in the nature and everything. Like thorns starts from weak and green then it starts growing up but it was still weak then it grows up and then it's strong so they can take turns to grow up just like us we start from a baby kid grown up get a biology book get barnox get a pack a costume just in case you come by by a dam or river Pack three torches just in case one is flat, the other one's flat, and you have to be one. You get ask for the Christmas for a camera. You can take photos of birds and beautiful things. Just get a knife just in case you find a snake or something. And just stay tuned about my video. You can learn a lot more things. Bye.